this is a Zusa. So when I go to Costco, I always pick up Costco muffins. But the dozen muffins are quite a lot just for the breakfast. I made it two desserts using Costco muffins today to share with you. First dessert is matcha tiramisu. It's going to be a layer of a slice of muffin, matcha tiramisu cream, and a matcha warabi mochi. If you are not familiar with warabi mochi, it is a Japanese confection. It's one of the mochi kinds, but the texture is more jelly type, not that much sticky as regular mochi. It's traditionally made with warabi bracken starch, but since it's limited ingredients, there is a substitute. Warabi mochiko, which is made of sweet potato or tapioca. Typically, warabi mochi is eaten with kinako, which is soybean powder, and kuramitsu, which is brown sugar syrup. I found this warabi mochiko kit at my near Japanese market and I wanted to add this to the matcha tiramisu. The inspiration of adding warabi mochi to this tiramisu dessert is from a parfait dessert I had at the cafe in Japan last year, and I was very impressed. This warabi mochi was easy to make by just adding water to the warabi mochiko and put in the microwave for a few minutes a couple times and mix until it's getting jelly sticky mochi. Then remove it to a container, cool it down, and it comes out like this jelly but with a mochi texture. Make tiramisu cream with sugar, heavy cream, and a mascarpone cheese, and add a matcha powder. The bitterness of the matcha is really nice with cheese. Also make a runny whipped cream. It will cover the matcha warabi mochi and then it will look pretty mulling with the green matcha mascarpone cream. And make a cup of matcha. This will be soaked in the muffin cake and then I made the mint matcha very strong. So this Costco muffin is called a mantecada muffin. It's like a muffin shaped pound cake. Mantecada muffins are spongy pastries originating in Spain, according to the internet. It's sweet with vanilla flavor. I like this plain muffin so that kid can enjoy it and it's easy to hack into other desserts. Slice the muffin into three pieces. Use a glass cup to shape each into a round and push the muffin piece into the glass bottom and add the matcha. As much as I like regular tiramisu and it is the only dessert to order when I go to an Italian restaurant, when I make it at home, I always make matcha tiramisu instead. Maybe I should learn to make the best coffee infused tiramisu one day, but till then, matcha tiramisu is always a winner at home. Especially after adding this matcha warabi mochi, this whole dessert will be gone so quickly. Next, orange custard with crunchy muffin crumbs. I came up with this idea from all the muffin crumbs my kids leave every time they eat the Costco muffin, especially my two years old. She insists to eat the whole muffin, even though I tell her I cut the muffin for her, and after 10 minutes later, her plate is a massive crumbly mess. And then I have to collect all the crumbs from the plate, table and under the table and 
what I do with it. I decided to bake them to make crunchy crumbs and combine it with homemade custard cream. And since the muffin is sweet, I wanted to add oranges for some refreshment. I made custard cream with some vanilla essence and grated orange peels. I smelled the orange from here already. Now make muffin crumbs. I keep the crumbs in a Tupperware after I collect all from the mess and sometimes kids eat it with a spoon for the snack. But try the oven baked muffin crumbs. It turns out a yummy crunchy snack. Since the muffin contains a lot of grease, I don't need to add any butter when I bake it. Just use your hand to make the crumbs and I bake for 6 to 7 minutes at 400 degrees. I had a karakara orange at home, so I sliced it up and here is the ingredients going to combine together. Make the layer of orange, custard, then the muffin crumbs, another custard, and the crumbs again. I recommend this to eat when you make, since the crumbs are crunchy and very good. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for the delicious recipe. See you next time.